What's up guys? It's Chris from Dude Ranch DIY. We uh, we got some tree work going on today. Jake is down in Costa Rica, so it's going to be a one-man show. Uh, it's going to be a lot of trees to drop. Should make some good content. Thought you guys might want to come along for the ride. So let's take a look at what we got. So here we are at the job. I got a call from my fiance's cousin who's a landscaper and uh, he says he's got some sketchy trees he's got to take down for this big project. Uh, this is all his equipment, his job. Uh, he already started pulling some stumps. We were here for this first part that's all seeded and uh, we did a bunch of pruning. Today we're doing removals. Maybe just a little bit of pruning. So you can see here he's starting to get everything kind of pulled out. He's got all these stumps ready for the dump or the processor wherever he's taking it to he's digging everything out with this monster cat i think this is like the largest mini excavator that they got the 315 cc or gc beautiful machine just got it in i don't know two weeks ago three weeks ago got a bunch of firewood poles all old crusty oak should be nice split in ready to burn might have them throw you know two three of them logs on my truck bring it on down to the uh, wood yard all the rocks that he's pulling from here it's making a nice stone wall that's gonna span the entirety of the property and there's no shortage of rocks around here no shortage of trees either beautiful place they, uh, this customer is actually asking him to come through, take out a bunch of the underbrush, clean up a little bit, and put nice green lawn underneath it all. He had to cut in this road so that he can get a bunch of the wood and the chips out, but it's seemingly he's uh, just leaving all the chips here, which would be nice. <laughs> After a while, it gets all soupy and nasty when you're dragging things in and out. So right about here, we're going to start getting to work. He's got this small white oak, or red oak, probably about, I don't know, 18 inches in diameter. That's going to come down. Like I said, all this is going to be a nice green play area for the kids at this house. So they're just trying to make it a little safer. rock piles, logs, more trees. I don't know if you see where my gear bag is. At Big Oak, we're just going to take some of the big crusty deadwood out of it. It's going to be right over the wall. I believe back here in this area, they're going to be putting in a big fire pit and patio. Got another machine over there. And this chipper. I believe this big oak is coming down. Along with this one next to it. That one is stone dead. So we're going to put a big rope in it and have one of the machines yank it on down. Over here we got this broken split one. Hung up in another tree. I believe both of those are coming down. This little one with the leaves on it is coming down. And I believe this one is coming down. The trees that we're doing are ranging in, you know, between 24 and 30 inch diameter. Really see how crusty and nasty these things are. I wouldn't want them over my kids either. This big dead stick here is going to be coming down. Possibly that leaning hickory. And this is where they've been stockpiling all their chips. I believe that one with the broken top down there is coming down.
something. One of the guys we work with, he, uh, he says a box tells a story. The hinge always tells a story. You saw where I was aiming. I didn't make it. I almost hit that beech tree, kind of swiped the side of it. It's aiming more towards that rock pile. When you look at your hinge, you can see I cut through most of my hinge. All my holding wood was on the outside going right towards that beach. Better luck next time, I guess. hinge out. Beautiful. Right on target. Oh, nice and even all the way across. Got about an inch, maybe a little bit more. That was a good box. All right, guys, that's it for today. We uh, ran out of battery and daylight on that job, and I never got around to doing the, the ending video. So here it is. We wound up climbing about 15 trees that day, or I wound up climbing 15 trees that day. Did uh, probably nine or 10 prunes, and the rest were removals. Had to go up, just brush them out. I didn't get them all on video, because I didn't want to bore you guys with so much of that. Wanted to get to more of the dropping the trees and having the fun on the ground but yeah that's it if you like this stuff give me a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that little bell icon if you want to see more content like this and get updates on us as always i'm chris this is dude ranch diy we'll catch you next time